Hi, everyone. So I'm actually, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, that. I'm not really going to, use, to, to do that right now. Uh, the demo will be uh, tomorrow and the day after at the Red Hat booth, if you're uh, interested. But let's uh, talk about uh, the development platform today that's uh, called Che that we are building and how we can use that uh, to develop a Kubernetes uh, controller. First of all, uh, I will introduce myself. My name is Mario. I work for Red Hat in the developer group. And I work in this uh, great open source project that is called Eclipse Che, that is a web IDE that runs in containers. But let's start from, uh, from the beginning, actually. So in the last years, we've been, uh, we've been seeing a lot of people, including myself, trying to run a lot of application of different types, unconventional uh, containerization, we call it that uh, we have been trying to use desktop application inside containers, and including IDEs like Eclipse or IntelliJ or uh, Sublime Text. But that doesn't work. So I mean, those applications are not built to run in containers. So these were cool acts, but at the end, that didn't work and didn't get traction. But the idea to have an IDE containerized shared with all your team, repeatable development environment will help team to, to go faster and to scale. So for that reason, we have built Che. So Che is a, a Kubernetes native, a native IDE. He's, he has a web front end. He, has a, he can be controlled using an API. He has a microservice architecture. He has telemetry, language server protocol support, so you can add languages with small services that run in containers. It is compatible with Visual Studio Code extensions. You can import cloud application in your Che workspaces. And uh, we have also worked in a Kubernetes customer source called Workspace that you, that, and a controller for that. So that it's completely integrated in, in, in Kubernetes. So, but how, how does it look like? So this is, these are four screenshots of, of Che. Uh, the first one is, uh, you, you can see I'm, I'm using the, the command palette is really look, look, uh, look like via, via code. Uh, the second screenshot is, uh, you can see auto-completion uh, there. So you have auto-completion as you expect in, what, in every IDE. Uh, and the third one is debugging. You, you can do debugging from your browser, actually. Third one is uh, a lot of people are asking, okay, but do you have, a, uh, do you have a, a, a terminal, a shell, that I can open from my ID? Yeah, yeah we have that as well. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. But the, the uh, topic of the, of the talk was about developing a Kubernetes component, so in this case, let's assume that you want to start contributing to Kubernetes, and there is like a controller that you've seen, you wanna, you wanna change something on, on, on that one. So what you, what you can do is that you can use Che for that. So you uh, set up your uh, development Kubernetes cluster um, on Minikube or whatever. Uh, you have your controller, you deploy it, you, you test it. You can deploy Che there. So that's the Chase server pod, and from that you can uh, go do a request to the Chase server pod that will create a Che workspace for you. The Che workspace will have four containers. This is, in this example, as it has four containers. The first container is, uh, contains uh, the Go tooling, so what allows you to do code navigation in your source code. Uh, the second container is, contains your command line tooling. Third one contains the, the web application that does the IDE, and the third one is the Kubernetes tooling from uh, Visual Studio Code extension. So using that, you, you will be able, when you start the workspace, to clone your source code, and you will be able to start coding. And when you're done, you can uh, deploy the new controller on your cluster, and that's it. You, you have uh, changed your controller, and you have modified the version of Kubernetes that where your IDE is running. 
So that's it for today. Thanks, everyone. If you want to reach out, I will be at the Red Hat booth and the Eclipse uh, booth as well. Um, the, the link for, the, for those slides are, is here, so if you want to look at it. So thanks a lot. <laughs>